Damn, it's bright as hell outside. What's up, y'all? Um, I was just like up last night and I was like, yo, I haven't made a five years on T or five years, four years post op top surgery update in a minute. I didn't make a three years one. So I was like, fuck, I'm gonna make a four years. The last one I did was a two year one. So I thought I'm out here, I'm outside. We at the, we, <laughs> um, right over there is the ocean. I don't know if you guys see it, but well, I'm pretty sure I can see it. That's the ocean up there. I was higher up, but I came down here just cause, um, yeah, I was playing basketball out there, but I wanted to come down here. So pretty much I'm gonna just lay on my chest and like how I was looking for it because, you know, I guess sometimes I start to think like, oh, I'm on T for like a long ass time. People don't really care about like the updates, but <clears throat> I was recently watching like a older um, person of trans descent and he's like 12 plus years on T or something like that. Anyways, just like the fact that he's so like matured and he's already like transitioned but he still makes updates i find it helpful because i want to see how people are aging you know what i'm saying like that are on hormones that are getting surgeries and stuff like that so uh yeah let me show you on my chest i'm pretty sure it would help if i took my shirt off so hold on i think i'm gonna prop y'all up on um on my gatorade i'm literally in the middle of a freaking baseball field vibes but Hope y'all can see that okay. All right, y'all, so this is me. Um, this is what my chest looks like. Hope y'all can see, this is what I look like four years. This is four years post-op top surgery. Um, I'll insert a clip of how I looked Freshly out of surgery, it was wild. So this is how I look on a regular day. Outside, if you were to see me, this is how I look. What y'all think? Um, I think that I look amazing. I feel like my chest really does look just like regular, you feel me? And, you know, I think like at first when I was getting top surgery, I was like, oh, I want my chest. I don't even think I was like, I want my chest to look cis. I just wanted a flat chest where I could like develop some man pecs. Like, you know, I want to be able to work out and see my pecs because I was working out so much, but like I could see the pecs like up here, but like right here, I couldn't really see my pecs. So I'm glad that I can. And honestly, like, I hope this is inspiring to y'all like just seeing me outside bro like i could be outside and walk around like this and it's no problem like that's the type of feeling that i get oh my god this view is just beautiful y'all y'all trying to walk and talk we could walk and talk come on there's like a view over there well i mean getting closer to the ocean it's a view looky i feel like if i left my stuff here no one's gonna take it so i'm gonna do that it's pretty chill and like no one's right here Plus, I can see everybody, so don't don't try it. Don't try it. For me. Don't try it, G. You understand me? But yeah, y'all. Um, I just been out here for real, like vibing, living, and yeah. As far as like my transition goes, like I just want to put it out there. I'm still thinking about getting other stuff, but you know, I'm gonna let God give it to me. I reached out, but I'm not gonna force it because I feel like, especially something like surgeries, bro. You really don't want to force it. Look at there's people all over there. And I'm out here with my chest out. But yeah. Type shit. I hope y'all can see it good. Y'all, I'm gonna flip the camera and show y'all the view. Like, bruh, y'all see this, right? That's Catalina Island over there. And all this is the ocean. But yeah, y'all, uh, I just really wanted to show y'all some representation and show y'all what a, I don't like calling myself a trans person, but it helps, you know, like identify me, I guess. I feel like I'm really just a dude that has gone through things to be more comfortable in my own body for real. So, but yeah, that was the view. 
<clears throat> it was more so for me. Y'all just came along with me. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a beautiful day at the park. Just decided to come out here. I really wanted to film this video too. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out solo and uh, do some uh, some re some research. Well, not research work. Some documentation work about me. So yeah. Now I do have these little stretch marks, but those were there before. That's literally just from uh, rapid growth. Like my pecs were going mad fast at one point, so that's just stretch marks. But see, shit like that is natural, bro. Like stretch marks are natural as fuck. Like you know, my scars. Oh, let me zoom in on my scars. So my scars, you could kind of see them. They're really faint, but they don't really bother me at all, to be honest. Like. I'm not like, oh my god, my scars. Someone's gonna see, like, when I go out in public and stuff, no one knows that, like, I got top surgery. Like, it's just me. You feel me? You see what I'm saying? Like, look, in the in this type of lighting, bro, they're like, they're like my pecs kind of like underline them. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, I look good, is what I'm trying to fucking say. Shit. But, yeah, y'all. Um, this is a little vertical video for y'all. I was feeling like a vertical video today. You feel me? Like, that's just what it was. It's so beautiful. But yeah, I hope y'all doing good out there, man. Be yourself. Be true to yourself. I don't know how else to say it, but besides that, like, be true to yourself. Do what you want to do. You feel me? Don't don't think you're being selfish for doing what you want to do. So, like, it's necessary to be selfish, bro. Like, if you weren't selfish, you wouldn't get nothing done. You feel me? And not saying that you ain't gonna need nobody, but if you're the only one that see the vision, you gotta you gotta enact it first, like. With me, bro, I would tell people before I went on hormones, before I got surgery, all of that stuff. Let me sit down. But if you fuck with me, you ain't gonna care about the me moving around. You're a real one. But oh shit. But like before homo hormones, before hormones, before surgery, before all that, you know, I would tell people that I'm a dude, I'm Christian, and you feel me like I would just try to tell people who I was and they wouldn't really see it. You know, I, I had to start taking hormones and, you know what I'm saying, furthering my whole, like, self-affirmation process before people really saw me for me. So, like, what I'm trying to say is sometimes with your vision, people are not going to see it. Only you are. And they're going to see it, but you have to start it first. Like, after I got on hormones, after I started masculine, masculine after I started getting more masculine, <laughs> People were like, oh, shit, he for real. Like, oh, I see him now. Like, I see Christian. I see what he was talking about. But when I was, like, not on T or not on anything, you know, people didn't really see my vision. So, yeah, go after what you want. Not everybody's going to see your vision. And that's okay because sometimes you're the only one that's supposed to see your vision. You feel me? Like, period. Like, I literally had to just trust my vision and trust God and the path that I was on. You know, everybody in my ear telling me this ain't right. Everybody in my ear telling me, oh, you're going to regret this. Everybody in my ear telling me, don't do this, don't do that. And I hear them in the sense that, like, they're just worried about me and shit. But, like, at the end of the day, if I want to get to where I got to get to, I just got to take the leap of faith and do me. And um, I don't know about y'all, but I think I think that the leap of faith I took was necessary. And I think it paid off well. But, yeah. I think I'm probably going to go walk around the park a little bit more. You feel me? I got a fresh cut, too. No cap. But yeah, I'm finna just go vibe out. But I appreciate y'all for fucking with me. Like, I really, really do. And this is just the beginning, y'all. Like, there's so much more stuff planned. There's so much more things that I'm I'm gonna do and that we're all gonna do. And I'm excited to see what y'all do. I'm excited to see what I do. And we're gonna go up together. So stay tuned for that. Fuck with me. Stay here. Like, trust me, we're going up. I don't know if y'all can see, but like, even with this YouTube shit, bro. Like, I don't even know what the fuck I was doing when I started it back as a kid. But look it. You know what I'm saying? That there was purpose in this. So follow your heart. Okay? Follow your heart. Follow your heart, my nigga. Follow your heart, my nigga. Alright. Peace out. Fuck the Yo, what up, y'all? It's really a me day today. I'm up here. I'm rolling up some weed. Shit. Y'all could, uh, y'all could join. But I'm finna try Firebird. It's my first time trying it. I seen it from, um, LA Try Guy for real. He put me on, and I ain't even going to cap. He put me on. Uh, the girl took my order. She was mad funny, too, because I ordered the flavor fries, which is like a box of fries, and it's topped with ranch, buffalo sauce, lemon pepper, chicken. So it's like a whole meal. 
So I was like, oh, can I get that? And can I also get 10 wings? She was like, not to be in your business, but she was like, that's a lot of food. <laughs> I was like, but no, look at she right though, because 10 and they bit like their whole wings. So 10 whole wings, hella fries. Some God probably told her, tell this man he ordering too much. So I was finished, probably spend like almost 40 bucks. But I only spent like 20 something. I still, because I wanted to try the flavor fries because I seen them from LA Try Guy and they look so fire. But I also wanted to try the wings. But it's crazy for the fries, you could get any flavor though. You could get, um, I could have got like garlic parmesan flavor fries. I could have got sweet heat honey chipotle flavor fries. I fucked up. I fucked up. I should have got that. Psych. Psych, motherfucker. All right. So we rolled up. I'm just gonna smoke this J, eat some food. Today's my me day. Everybody wanted. I, I I had obligations, really. Not even obligations, but you know what I'm saying. Things I could have attended to. I was just like, nah, it's a me day. Like I love, I love you, everybody, but Christian, Julian, Chick Blue needs a me day. I've just been around people so much, and I love people. It's not even like a bad thing. I love people, you know. But like, if I want to be myself. Or if I just want to be in a good headspace around people, then I need to um, take time for myself. So this is taking time for myself. I played basketball earlier, went to the beach, drove by the beach. Now I'm eating some fried chicken, finna get faded. Like, what more can I ask for, man? What more can I ask for? Nothing really, shoot. Smoking some good weed. Got some money on in my account. Man, life is good, man. Life is good, yeah. Life is good, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna see y'all inside. They got a patio in the back. That's what she says. So I'm gonna go munch out in the patio. All the black people at this spot. I love going to spots and all I see is black people. I went to this juice spot yesterday and it was all black people coming out there. I'm not saying I don't like other uh, cultures. I'm just saying like it feels cool knowing this is a black run spot. This spot too is black owned. Well, I've seen black people. It's black owned, yes. Yeah, it's only black. I've only seen black people working behind the counter and um, and things like that. So it's black owned, shoot. But yeah, they got a patio. I was looking like, ooh, I'm finna smoke in the patio. But I'm like, I ain't finna do that. I'm finna burn the spot. We got that. We got that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. These niggas ain't got no money. These niggas ain't got no money. Get your money on. I just like saying the word money on. Just ignore me. I ain't even hating on nobody that ain't got money. I just like saying money on. Get your money on. Better get your money on up. These niggas, these niggas playing about that money on. All right, we got the roof crack. Finna hot box this bit. Where the lighter at? Nah, bruh. Don't, oh, shit. Don't even tell a P he ain't got no lighter. Oh, I see a lighter. I was like, don't even tell a P that he ain't got no lighter. Damn, bro. The struggle to get this phone where it needs to be is like, oh my God. Sorry about that. Bet that bitch over in Calabasas. Tell that bitch slow down. Bitch, I'm also bored on walking the trees. I let do it. Let do it. Let do it. It's not really hitting yet. Maya. Yo. A little hot box ish. These vertical videos be fly too. I ain't gonna cap. I like vertical videos and like horizontal. I be getting bored of horizontal videos. I'm like, I'm tired of them. But. 
This is CGI smoke. It's not real. It's not hating for him. The hell? Kind of. There you go. Smack him. 